Hey everyone, Sergey here from ukramedia.com and today in this quick video, I want to show you how to add commas automatically to your numbers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for this example, I already have a text. It's already rigged up. So this is a final result. So let's say I'm going to type something like score and then let's type a number. I'm going to say one, zero, zero. Now notice when I go to 1000, watch what happens. As you can see, automatically it adds a comma right here. And I didn't do that, it did that using expression. So let's keep going here, let's add another zero. As you can see, it maintains it. Let's keep going. And one more, as you can see, we are at one million and we have two commas. So again, that's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that using expressions in After Effects. All right, so now we are in a clean composition. Let's start fresh and let's select the type tool. To do that, I'm gonna press Control T or you can click on this icon in here and let's bring in a text. We're going to type something like 1000. So notice this text doesn't have a comma. So we're going to add that in. And by the way, to get out of active type mode right now, I am in the active type mode. You can either just click away like this or you can use a shortcut control enter. I'll just mention that because a lot of people don't know this one. It's a it's a very quick and easy shortcut. And I see a lot of people clicking away. I've done that, too. So anyway, control enter all right so next what i'm going to do i'm going to center this anchor point to the center of my text so i'm going to press v to select select tool right here so i can select the text and do Control alt home to center the anchor point notice it went from here to the center of my text that's exactly what i want and then i'm going to center this text in the center of my composition by pressing Control home so then i'm going to go to a property called source text that's where we're going to add our expression to change this value right to add a comma and to get to that property, you can get there a number of different ways. You can use this timeline search bar. You can select this text or you don't have to select it, but whatever you select, that's what it's going to search. But if you don't have anything selected, then it's going to search the whole composition. So then you can search something like source text. As you can see, there it is. So that's good. We have it there. Or you can also just press down control and then click on this arrow. It'll collapse all of your properties. You can select and then press S twice to solo it. You can also, while you are in a type mode, you can right click and go to reveal source text in timeline and that will get you there as well. So a number of different ways to get there. And then we're going to create an expression for this source text property. Alt click on the stopwatch in here. I'm going to paste my expression. I already have it. In other words, we're not going to be writing it from scratch. So I already have it created. I'm just pasting it. And if you want to get this expression, just uh, go down below this video in the description area. There'll be a link. Click on it, go to that website and then just copy it from the website. And that's what it is. When you click away, notice it works. It automatically adds commas to you know anything that's bigger than 1,000. And we can keep going here. We can add more zeros. We can add more values. Anyway, it's working. So the way it works is simple. You can see we have a variable right here. And this va variable is set to value, which means to the source text property. In other words, whatever you type in here, that's what it's going to use. Now, you don't have to hold on to value. You can type numbers in here if you want. You know, if you want to link this up to some kind of an external text document, you can do that way. But you can also link this up to a slider. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to create a new slider, select the text, go to Effect Controls panel, right click, and then go to Expression Controls and click on this slider control. I'm going to select this, press Enter to rename it. I'm going to rename it to Number. And uh, this value right now means nothing. We can type anything we want. And uh, nothing happens because we have to link this to our value. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Just select this number and we're going to pick whip to this slider right here. And you would think that it would work right now, but it actually doesn't. So watch what happens. As you can see, it tells you that you need to be more specific because this slider, like right now we're pointing to the slider and this slider has many properties. It has like a name, it has a length and you need to be more specific. In the past, After Effects allowed to, like when you would link it up to, it would automatically just assume you want the value, right? Because it's the first property. But in here, we need to be more specific. Now we need to go to the end of this line. We're going to say period value. In other words, we don't want the name. We don't want the length. We want the value. So when I click away, now it gives me the value, which makes sense. So that's how we get there. Now watch what happens when we add some keyframes. So if I add some keyframes in here, Notice we're going to go from, let's say, zero and let's take it up to something really big, something like this. So notice what happens. Obviously, it's going crazy because we have some decimals and you got to get rid of those. So you need to round them up. 
And with expressions, there are a number of different ways to round them up. But I like to use to fix because you can attach it to the end of your code. So I can go to value and I can keep going. I can say, hey, that value, we're actually going to do this. So we're going to say period to fixed. And then as you can see, it highlights it for me. I'm going to press enter. And when I click away, it actually rounds it up. So that's that's nice. And with that, you can see everything's working well. It automatically adds a comma. So that's how we add commas to our numbers in After Effects using expressions. All right, well, this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and if you found it useful, definitely show us some love by liking this video, subscribing to this YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and you can also join our free online mentoring group at ukermedia.com slash community. We also have some help on expressions. If you want to learn more about expressions, you should definitely check out our course at ukermedia.com slash expressions. And the link to that is at the bottom of this video. We also last week just released our very first Blender course where I teach you how to create this motion graphics sports bumper. If you want to learn how to create this motion graphics sports bumper in Blender, which is a free 3D tool, super awesome, you should definitely go to ukramedia.com slash Blender. The link to that is at the bottom of this video. But in the meantime, my name is Sergei Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.